Laos Development Partners to Strengthen Ties for Effective Cooperation. High-level government officials and local authorities revealed the circumstances at the 2016 Roundtable Implementation Meeting, which ended on Friday in Vientiane Provincial Capital. The meeting was titled Accelerating the Implementation of the 8th National Socioeconomic Development Plan or 8 and SEDP 2016-2020 for least developed country graduation and the achievements of the Sustainable Development Goals. Discussion focused on localization of the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs, effective development partnerships, food and nutrition security, green growth, as well as climate change and disaster response preparedness. In his opening remarks, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance Som Di Dong Di noted the significance of the meeting taking place outside the country's capital and Vientiane province socio-economic conditions were explained to participants. He said this shows the government's effort in comprehensively pursuing local development following the Sam Sang or Three Bills Directive, building provinces as strategic units, building districts as comprehensively strong and building villages as development units. Minister of Planning and Investment Dr. Supan Keo Misai stressed the inclusion of localization of the SDGs in the national development agenda as well as at the local level, saying these should reflect effective use of money and labor in project implementation and strongly support the participation of all sectors, including private businesses and residents. He also proposed for such participation in the implementation of food and nutrition program with stronger and more harmonious coordination. For green growth and climate change and disaster response preparedness, the minister pressed for the strategy to be realized following the government having ratified the United Nations Agreement on Climate Change. A new roundtable meeting, of course, is very important. It's kind of the monitoring kind of the process on the five-year plan because uh, we set up the goal for the five years and then we uh, have to see the progress in each year and how we uh, can mobilize the fund to implement the uh, remaining uh, year. And uh, what is the According to Dr. Kikeo Chantaburi, discussion focused on localization of the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs, effective development partnership, food and nutrition security, green growth, as well as climate change and disaster response preparedness. And uh, what is the government uh, or the Lao people get the, from the Rao Table meeting? I think it's very important. It's very uh, uh, obviously that, uh, first of all, we uh, use the Rao Table mechanism to, uh, in the uh, uh, previous one, we use uh, the Rao Table mechanism as a uh, uh, mobilizing of the uh, development fund. But nowadays, it's not only uh, you know uh, mobilizing fund. We also try to give the awareness of the pri uh, national priority of the government. Uh, we want to show that Lao government also strip to the uh, uh, goal that the international uh, community are stripping, such as uh, sustainable uh, development uh, goals. It is said that the country's continued economic growth, which has been 6.9 percent over the past 10 months and is predicted to reach 7% by the end of this year, with income per capita at 2,027 U.S. dollar. The internal and external impacts on the country's economy, such as the fall in mineral prices, the rubber price decline, and natural disasters, which he said is seriously affected by agricultural crops and exports, as well as revenue collection, which did not meet the planned target. Let me pick up maybe on the last point which I made which, and your point as well on the sustainable development goals. And first in terms of development planning, this has been very nicely integrated in the national plan and in the national socio-economic development plan, the eighth plan that has been approved officially this year. It is a very strong plan that has been developed. It is focused on results to be achieved and it integrates the sustainable development global agenda into targets and indicators here for Lao PDR. And you United Nations Coordinator and United Nations Development Program Representative Karina Imonen praised the government's decision to provide a provincial location as the venue for this year's roundtable meeting. 
She congratulated the government for promoting Laos as the first ASEAN country to have submitted the ratification instrument in respect of the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. And you even have introduced your national SDG, SDG 18, which most other countries do not have, which is on UXO and how to accelerate the progress in this specific sector so that um, people would be free of the fear of um, UXOs in the future. She also praised the government as a champion in achieving the Millennium Development Goals, the National Assembly's engagement in policy issues regarding national development, and the newly founded Provincial People's Assemblies as new advocates for the implementation of the NSEDP and SDGs at the local level. Some areas to be considered for further consultation were revenue and public debt management, which Ms. Imonin said required particular attention. She said the government is encouraged in its commitment to the production of the integrated, transparent and accountable national budgeting and alignment with ODA growth.